What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today, I got an awesome list of EDC knives and a bunch of different price points for you. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I'd love to have you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out. Let me know what you are carrying in your pockets today down there in the comments. Love hearing from you and what you are caring for the day. I will have links to all the stuff I'm going to show here today down in the description of this video. We'll kick the video off with the Migron Valona here. Now, this is no secret to the known knife community, but for people who are just coming in, might not know about this knife. If you're looking for an affordable EDC knife, I wouldn't look much farther than Migron and the Valona here. This is just a perfect execution for an EDC knife. We have a nice drop point blade. It's got that glossy satin finish, 14C, perfect steel for a budget knife created to be a razor blade steel, thin geometry, and that is what we are getting here. Crown spine, fuller and rear flipper for deployment. Detent is perfect on this knife. Great access to that liner, easy to disengage and move that out of the way. We have textured G10, and then we have a nice milled pocket clip, and we have a G10 backspacer. These routinely are going to come in under that $50 price point. If you're someone who enjoys a front flipper, then the Fentizo GO43 here, this thing is awesome. It's a new offering from Olatens and they have been doing a phenomenal job on their budget knives here 14c 28n again we have this drop point blade with a dull grind on it looks awesome gives us some character it's got this gray pvd finish front flipper for deployment nice snappy front flipper and it is designed very nice you can do all the front flipper things your little heart desires with that front flipper it's comfortable easy to get to grippy because of that jimping on that flipper really really like this knife bunch of different g10s you can get this one is in jade nice minimal deep carry fold over clip there not going to be reversible on this particular model great access to that liner with a chamfer and these knives routinely come in like under 40 bucks this thing is a very very good edc knife if you like front flippers olatens has been killing it all year next up we have the kaiser helmet here this is a new offering from kaiser it's an azo design coming in nitro v we have their black pvd coating cutout and rear flipper for deployment nice snappy detent on this thing and these are going to be extremely affordable from kaiser they are killing the knife world with their pricing and their affordable knives now this is a g10 and carbon fiber lam laminate it's kind of a twill carbon fiber laminate you can get this version and they have plenty of other versions if you don't like the carbon fiber laminate i do have to say i wasn't a fan in the past of it but they have been able to mix the g10 and the laminate to basically look and feel like it is actually just carbon fiber it feels like carbon fiber it looks like it and the transition to the g10 is basically flawless uh, so if you you know you like the look of carbon fiber but most of the knives are just out of your price point then might be a great option but if you don't like that they have g10 and i think micarta they got a bunch of different variations of this knife nice deep carry pocket clip there going to be reversible open construction lanyard hole great access to that liner fantastic closing and opening action sheep's foot blade is going to be great for utility work i'm a big fan of the helmet uh this one kind of came out of nowhere in a mix of a bunch of other knives kaiser dropped and i think this one got overlooked by most people but full size knife going to be a great utility worker and these come in at a really really good price point 
Another thing that you can't overlook when it comes to your EDC is going to be a wallet, something you keep with you every single day. Here we have a couple of extra wallets. We have their old cardholder wallet and their brand spanking new cardholder wallet. Now, I will have all the information linked down in the description. I do have a discount code that can be paired with any discount that they're currently running. I will leave the links and coupon codes to these wallets all down in the description. You can head over there and check out everything they have. I myself personally have been carrying an extra wallet for the last several months. All the wallets that I have gotten sent and been sent I have actually landed on an extra wallet to carry. Now, I probably will ultimately switch and try this one out, but this has been my wallet for the last several months. A similar idea, but it has the bifold flap here, and you still have the button for the automatic uh, dispense of the cards. That is going to be the same thing here. Uh, and I would say the mechanism is even crispier that forces out the cards. Now you do have another slot back here that you can put a few cards in, slide a few cards in here, or you can just take it off completely if you wanna go very minimal. I am not going to do that. I will most likely be keeping the band and this extra card holder on here. And then on the front here, you can use that as a money slip. Now. This is going to be much more affordable than the new one. They're both going to be affordable, but the older version now is going to be even more inexpensive. But here again, we have the button for automatic uh, card display there. It spreads out the cards nicely. Uh, we just have the extra cards in there right now, but with regular base cards, as you can see with my old wallet, they work very, very good. And this one is going to have that same feature that you can slide some cards in the back of the wallet there. And the reason I say I'm going to keep that little slot on the back of this wallet is because they have a tracker card. And I've been using this card ever since I got my extra wallet. This is an extra tracker card and you can pair this with an app and it will let you know wherever your wallet is or you can get these and put them in anything it doesn't have to be just a wallet you can put it in a purse you could put it in a car i mean you could put it anywhere that you can fit this card right here uh i was thinking of sliding it in there uh for use with this wallet as far as my old wallet I've been sliding it in the back here and it has worked out perfectly in that spot, but uh, most likely probably going to slide it in here in the back behind this thing. But they got a bunch of cool stuff over there at extra wallets, bags, tracker cards, and a plethora of other things. Like I said, I will link their website down below and all the coupon codes and all that sort of thing down in the description you can head over there and check everything that they have to offer these have become the the extra wallets have become my favorite go-to wallet no question about it and ultimately i'll probably switch over to this new card holder right here to try it out but i've been a big fan of that bifold wallet as well Shout out to Exter for sending these in for us to take a look at. Definitely recommend if you are looking for a new EDC wallet. Next up, we have the Off Grid Knives Stinger EDC. And I love this knife right here. They also have an XL version of the Stinger. They have a drop point and a spear point. This is the spear point bayonet style blade shape we have that gray pvd tumbled finish this is going to be rocking 154 cm and very good heat treated 154 cm if you're just looking for a really solid well-built edc knife that's going to get the job done then the off-grid stinger will be an awesome option nice minimal deep carry clip triple torque screw holding it in and it is going to be left hand friendly 
great access to that liner, easy to disengage. The action is insane. The detent is perfect. Off-grid gets their flipping action perfectly every single time. Great ergonomics. This is a great size. Not too large, not too small. But like I said, if you like a little bit larger knife, then you might want to look at the Stinger XL. But for everyone else, the Stinger EDC here is an absolute banger of a knife. I'll have that link down in the description as well as a bunch of other off-grid knives. Next up, we have the Vosteed Acorn. And this one was a sleeper for me. I thought initially that I wouldn't be a big fan of this knife, but it actually it actually kind of won me over. Um, it's got an amazing detent in it. Vosti just does a killer job. This one is going to be coming in 14C28N. We have a satin finished drop point blade. Looks very, very nice. Full finger choil. Good row of jimping here that's going to lock you in. Some beautiful micarta for the handle material. Great access to that liner. The closing action is buttery, buttery smooth. Nice deep carry clip there. Will be reversible and it is recessed. Front flipper and cutout for deployment. These are going to be very affordable. Initially, I didn't like the way the handle was done, but it's going to work very very well in hand and be very comfortable in that choked up grip there plenty of edge to get the job done Vostid acorn is a sleeper next up we have one of my favorites of this year the real steel parix this thing is ridiculous we're looking at nitro v steel drop point blade pvd coated Dual thumb studs for deployment. Real Steel knows exactly what they are doing when it comes to designing and creating a user knife. Great sharpening choil there. Crossbar lock is done superbly. We have great springs, strong springs in there, which gives a nice, satisfying deployment. This is going to be in consideration for a full-size knife. We have a deep carry wire pocket clip there that will be reversible, making this a completely ambidextrous pocket knife. O-stop held design, new knife for real steel this year, and I think is an exceptional offering from them. There you guys go. Let me know which one was your favorite and why. Let me know what some of your favorite affordable EDC knives have been this entire year. I love hearing from you guys and what you think on all things related to knives and EDC. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I always appreciate that, everyone. If you're new here, we release knife and EDC content every single day. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. I'd love to have you here. I'll put up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for watching. I will catch you on the next one.